six bad habits that actually have health benefits. Don't feel guilty the next time you miss a workout or accidentally let out a curse word. You'd be surprised at the health benefits associated with some of these so-called bad habits. 1. Skipping your daily workout Personal trainers preach the importance of the occasional day off to give muscles the chance to rebuild and strengthen. In fact, for seniors, four workouts a week is more beneficial than six, according to a study published in Medical and Science in Sports and Exercise. The study randomly assigned women between the ages of 60 to 74 to do four or 60 aerobic and weightlifting schedules. After four months, there were no differences in fitness levels among the women all increased muscle and decreased fat mass equally. However, those who exercised four times a week burn many more calories in their daily activities than the six and two times a week women. In this case, those who worked out the most had little energy left over, while those who worked out four days a week were reinvigorated. Bottom line, if your workout schedule is leaving you drained and laid out on the couch for the rest of the day, it's time to cut back. 2. Drinking too much coffee People who drink a lot of coffee we're talking at least 3 cups a day have been shown to have lower risks of certain types of cancer, including prostate, skin and oral cancer. Coffee, after all, is rich in the antioxidants and polyphenols that attack cancer-causing free radicals. As an alternative, red and purple fruits are also full of antioxidants. Moderate consumption of coffee has also been linked to a decreased risk of type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease and heart disease. So why do many doctors and naturopaths encourage people to cut back? For one, those who have a genetic mutation that causes them to break down coffee slowly can actually have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease if they sip more than two cups of java a day. Moreover, drinking too much coffee can mean you're not getting enough water and it can also lead to insomnia and anxiety. So what's the magic number? Figure out what works better with your own healthy eating, fitness and sleep routines. 3. Not choosing the low-fat option. No, we're not about to open the floodgates and say deep-fried foods or butter-drenched popcorn are healthy. But always refusing foods high in fat can be harmful. Fat is a essential in the absorption of some vitamins and required by our body to produce hormones and unsaturated fats, including vegetable oils and nuts, reduce inflammation, regulate blood pressure and can improve blood cholesterol, according to the Harvard School of Public Health. Meanwhile, Several studies published in recent years show that unsaturated fat found in olive oil, avocados and fish can reduce one's risk of depression and memory loss. 4. Fidgeting Still haven't mastered sitting still despite decades of admonishments? You likely have a healthier body mass index BMI, because of it, according to Dr. James Levine. A physician at the Mayo Clinic who researches the relationship between non-planned movements and weight. One study by the Mayo Clinic tracked the movements of 10 obese and 10 lean individuals. Researchers found that the leaner people, on average, moved for 150 minutes more a day and burned 350 calories more. But the exercise wasn't intentional the individuals were just more likely to stand up bounce a knee, or move around in their chair. 5. Cursing In 2016, Keele University in Staffordshire, UK, tested the ability of participants to withstand stressful situations by having them put their hands in ice-cold water and timing how long they could stand it. Those who were encouraged to swear lasted double as long as those who were asked to repeat a neutral word. That said, those who already swore dozens of times a day didn't perform any better in the task than the neutral word control group. The researcher's theory is that swearing can release adrenaline, which makes the body more resilient to stress and relieves pain. However, those who overuse curse words wear out their beneficial effect. So go ahead and curse when the situation requires it. 
but don't swear like a sailor in everyday conversation. File this one under common sense. 6. Devouring chocolate. In recent years, dark chocolate, with at least 60% cocoa, has been praised for its cancer-fighting power and the blood pressure-reducing ability of its flavanols. Plus, those who truly savor chocolate in moderation those who embrace mindful eating in other words are less likely to overindulge on sugar and carbs throughout the day. For example, a 2012 study at Ohio State University found diabetic patients who went through a mindful eating course were just as successful at losing weight as those who took the typical nutrition program route. According to the study, learning how to pay attention to the body's signs of hunger and satisfaction and to eat in the moment was shown to be just as helpful as learning about reading food labels and choosing nutritious meals. 